Howdy folks, Jamie Farmer, Pioneer Field Agronomist for West Central Missouri. I'm out here in a wheat plot today, just wanted to talk a little bit about fungicide timing here. It's the week of May 10th, we've got a lot of stuff that should be getting really close to that ideal fungicide timing. At FEEX 10.5.1, which is early flowering. And so I'm just out here evaluating some of this stuff to see what we've got. The biggest thing that we're really targeting when we, when we shoot for fungicide timing at that early flowering point is Fusarium head blight, also known as wheat head scab. Uh, a couple of things that we worry about with that particular disease. First thing is obviously that disease can reduce yield and so we want to try to avoid any of that. The second thing is we can run into some DON or DON, also known as vomitoxin, levels being too high in some of the grain as a result of an infection of that disease. And so what that can lead to is rejection or docking when you try to take that grain to the elevator. So we try to avoid that by timing a fungicide right there at that early flowering or also known as Feex Growth Stage 10.5.1. And so what you want to look for is 50% of the heads within your wheat field extruding anther uh, with the, basically the anther sticking out at about the middle of that spike. So anthers sticking out for, anthers sticking out from that spikelet right there in the middle of that head and 50% of the heads in that field. It's a little early. <clears throat> it's a little early for this field right now. We're not quite there at this, but areas farther south in my geography along the I-70 corridor or Highway 50 corridor and farther south are starting to see some early planted wheat fields getting there. It's better to be a few days late from that timing than to be a few days early based on what the research has shown. So. Be out there, evaluate your field, see if you're there at that timing, make sure you get on that spray list, um, you know, right there at that ideal timing or just a few days after to try to prevent any sort of impacts on yield or uh, vomitoxin levels within your wheat this year. If you got any additional questions, go to pioneer.com, reach out to your local Pioneer sales professional, and be happy to help you with anything else. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, we look forward to seeing you in the field. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.